to the steam engine, which is under, under the back, directly connected to the back axle. The steam engine is connected directly back to the yeah, axle. Yeah, so no gearbox, no clutch. Okay. No prop shaft, no nothing. So it's uh, simply direct. It's direct, yeah. So yeah. I would say, I would assume you move one knob and just it makes... Just regulator and it goes. Yeah. Okay. And and how does the... Is it it's just an ordinary um, fuel in a, in a tank? Yeah, there's a uh, moment in there is um, a mixture of 50-50 diesel and petrol I'm burning. Usually I'm burning kerosene. Oh, which right. is heating oil, 28 second burn. Same as jet airplanes use. So what was the issue? Was a kerosene um, originally in yeah, those days? Yes, but yes. This is 19... 19 which one? 1914. 1914, okay. And how long it takes to, to get this vehicle well, um, ready I'll, to start? I'll um, light it in a minute and it'll be uh, probably five, six minutes before I move off. And how the... Um, how does it start burning in the... Um, the, the there's a pilot light to light in there. Pilot light? Yeah, and so when the fuel goes in, that lights the, the, the fuel. Okay. The fuel going in under pressure 120 pounds per square inch. And that vaporizes the fuel so it goes in like, almost like a gas. Yeah. All right. uh, and that, that uh, fires up the boiler, uh, which boils the water, which produces the steam. The difference between this and that is that's using stored power, but that has to create the power to move. Where I create the power first and then move. That's quite complicated stuff. That's no, straightforward, easy. So, so basically, it's in a, it's like a little steam. It's uh, the same as a locomotive. Same as a locomotive. Look at these gauges, you know. And you think some modern, modern day engineering is complicated. It just leaves this thing. Modern, old engineering leaves there modern in a dust. I think. I will let you do your trick. <laughs> So it was 1914, yeah? yeah. Stanley 606. Yeah. So are you ready to start it up? No, not yet. I'll just... Uh... So that's the tank. <laughs> Goes on the steam, like a train. Technically, I don't really understand anything too much um, about this. About this, I just need to look on the pictures and the way to see how it's actually working. Well, at the moment, I'm a bit dumb as you so far. Look in this video. I haven't worked on anything like that. I haven't stripped down anything like that. I think as much as I've done, seen it and seen it in the movies and pictures and as much I read about it. So that's the direct mm. unit. So they're unbelievable suspension. Look at the tires. This is getting ready. Let me just get Engineering. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look, uh, the renovation work is done quite well. Um, as much as can be done to original looks, more likely. But so you just get in there. So how long normally it takes to get this? So the process, the water is boiling. Yeah. Right. What gauges do you look to know? Well, you have the right pressure. That, that's the steam pressure. That's the fuel pressure. That's the pilot light pressure. Okay. And 
what do we look at it when you actually are ready to uh, move? We, we, we want that up to 200 pounds. It'll go up to 500 if I wait for the full amount. Okay. What's the minimum for you to... Uh, it's, it's about 200 pounds. Yeah. It will. So you can see it's not that easy. So what, what's, what's the um, maximum miles, uh, not miles per gallon, but what sort of on a full tank you can do? When it's well, we hold 35 gallons of water. 35 gallons. And we do a mile a gallon. A mile a gallon. And how many miles you can do, you can drive on that? Uh, on cycle, miles. 25 miles. <laughs> Dumb question. How far away from home are you? <laughs> 40. <laughs> well, you can put, there's lots of water everywhere. Yeah, you can, yeah. I, I, the hose there, I can siphon out of streams, rivers, and things like that, swimming pools. I'll probably go around it. Take some water and some of the streams. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the process to get ready. So, it's not, re it's not really like you will plug your high uh, electric vehicle in a. Uh, in a, in a socket outside your house and then turn some heating on to get it warm in a winter on this one you will have to sweat your ass off to actually get home or even hopefully make home but yeah this guy I bet you haven't seen anything like it. You just got RAC, I think it's a wrong car for the RAC. <laughs> Not gonna be able to get this vehicle moving. But the recovery truck will. So let's just see how this gentleman will eventually be ready to leave Goodwood Breakfast Club event. This is lady. Nearly, I guess. The pressure is there. The water is there. The steam is there. 